Okay guys, John here with Lux. I'm gonna go ahead and install our new Type 2 racetrack tail lamp decal. Uh, this covers up the entire bottom section of the racetrack tail lamp. I've already got one installed on my car and it's actually also wrapped in the mid star power. So I'm gonna try to install it right over this. You'll see the kit comes, um, it comes in one sheet. We've already cut it. And I'm gonna show you the pictures of that before I start this section of the video. Let's see. First thing we're gonna do is free the decal off all the way up past these first two curves, kind of where the trunk button is or a little beyond that. So we're gonna go ahead and start by placing this. You wanna line the top of the black right up with the crease. So I'm gonna line this up where the decal almost touches the other side of the light that's on the fender. Get that down. You reposition this if need be, it's a 3M vinyl. Uh, this is very easy to use vinyl. And I'm going to try to go ahead and get this part down right here. Now that I've got that, I'm going to free the vinyl off the paper. I'm going to have to put just a tiny bit of stretch on this. I uh, opted to make it just, just a hair too short and let you stretch the length out of it because I'd rather not make it a, that perfect length and have people accidentally stretch it past what they need. So all I had to do is just forcefully pull. It's nothing to it, there's no skill needed. Um, just to get that to lay down this whole section and reach over here. Always working up into the crease. There we go. Got the decal almost completely applied now. Just gonna work it down over the fold. Perfect. All we have to do is remove the transfer paper from the decal and lock down the two edges. See, this part didn't quite apply all the way. I'm not going to use a squeegee and approach that because it's kind of, uh, it's a long bubble. And if you go after a long bubble with a squeegee, a lot of times you can put a crease in the vinyl instead. Just press on it with your thumb, roll your thumb around. Uh, it'll go away. The air regress technology will work great, especially in this 3M vinyl. Everywhere else looks really, really good. So this is applied. If I hit the lights now, you can see we have no light output coming from here. The only thing left to do is lock down these edges. We're gonna do that by simply popping the trunk, applying a little bit of heat, and folding it down and over. Okay, now for the side pieces, these are very easy. We have one piece that goes here, and then you have this funky looking piece. This is actually an end cap, because I found when we wrap this, you still get some light bleed through right here, and it touches this light, and it ruins the effect. So we've included this as just a little cap. That's gonna close off all that light bleed and give you a perfect dark look right here. So for this install, I'm just gonna take this decal off the backing paper. Make sure you don't leave any little dots or little any pieces here. And again, the black top line should line up right with the crease. That's what I'm gonna do. And you'll see it almost touches the light over here, just like the centerpiece. Work all that, and then when you get to this crease right here, I'm gonna barely put my thumb right on the crease and slowly start working the vinyl down. I just don't wanna go after it with one press. You might end up with little bits here and I'm going to work my hand straight down. You can see that way if any creases or anything form I press them straight down and they're not going to leave any wrinkles in the decal itself. So we'll go ahead now remove the backing paper. You can see it's installed. Let's take a look at the effect. 
and there you go. That's what we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the trunk. Heat this and press it down. And then, just to go saying, locate the right end cap piece. Remove it from the backing paper. And the, the crease of the light, the edge of the lens, is this exact shape. So your, your whole goal here is just to get this to line up with the crease. I'd put the decal on without applying too much force. Go ahead and hit unlock on your keys or go turn your racetrack tail lamp on. Make sure you have no bleed through right here. As long as you fully cover the light, apply the decal down and remove the backing paper. And that's a completed install.